Welcome to this episode of the Camtasia 9 Survival Guide, where I'll show you some quick time and frustration saving tips for using hotkeys in version 9. And we're starting right now. Hi, Lon Naylor here, and if you're new to this channel, be sure to click the subscribe button below and the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest, greatest Camtasia tips and tricks. Here's the issue we're going to look at today. If you're a veteran user of Camtasia 8, you know that hotkeys are a formidable productivity weapon to get your projects done faster. Many of us have come to rely on these nifty little shortcuts to perform common tasks much more quickly than wielding the mouse cursor all over the screen. For example, the old standards like copy paste, control C and control V, and save, control S, most of these standard ones still work fine in Camtasia 9, but there are a few that are different and might cause you some confusion, like they did for me. Fortunately, TechSmith has put together a document detailing those differences, and you can download that with the link below. Here are the top three differences that I stumbled on a bit, and then I'll show you how to fix them to work the same way as you're used to in Camtasia 8. Number one, markers. In Camtasia 8, adding markers to the timeline was quick and easy by simply mashing the M button, start typing to name it, and move on. In Camtasia 9, this hotkey is changed to Shift M. I found this out after repeatedly pounding on the M key and scratching my head for about 10 minutes. There's also the added new feature of not letting you name it just by starting to type. For that, you need to go to the Properties pane and enter a name. A bit of a step backwards in my opinion, but changing it back is on the Camtasia 9 wish list. Number two, animation keyframes. As you probably know, in Camtasia 8, animations are all about keyframes. For example, here I have an image that I want to animate in from off the screen. I'll set the starting position of the animation to be off screen, move my playhead in a bit, hit the Z key to drop an animation keyframe, make a change by moving the image into the video, and boom! Super quick and easy animating. In Camtasia 9, the hotkey for dropping an animation keyframe is Shift A. So, yeah, that's different. Number three, extend frame. I use this all the time when I'm editing to synchronize audio and video. In Camtasia 8, put the playhead where I want to extend the video as a static image of a frame and press the E key. I usually don't mess with trying to guess the exact time to extend, but rather just ballpark it with pretty much any value. Then unstitch the end of the extended frame and adjust it to be exactly what I want. In Camtasia 9, the feature's still there, but again the hotkey is Shift-E instead of just E. Another difference is that in Camtasia 8, you can extend the frame of an asset even if there's media on the timeline after it. Extend the frame and the media ripple shifts down the timeline. In Camtasia 9, you literally can't extend a frame if there isn't enough empty space down the timeline to accommodate it. You have to make a hole first. Hmm. I'm going to give this item the Wish List of the Week Award in the Taking a Step Backwards category. So now you know about the changes, what if you want to change the changes back to more familiar keystrokes? Just go to Edit, Preferences, hotkeys, and personally, I just changed the animations, markers, and extend frame hotkeys back to their Camtasia 8 values. And lastly, be aware that some single keys are reserved for your ribbon items like media bin, annotations, transitions, behaviors, and so on. If you try to use those as hotkeys, you'll get an error. Like I mentioned, Camtasia 9 is an excellent upgrade, but if you're a Camtasia 8 user, there's some things you'll need to know that are slightly different or flat out gone that will affect your video work. 
To help you survive this transition, I've created a special newsletter cleverly called the Camtasia 9 Survival Guide, where I'll send out weekly bulletins, tips, tricks, gimmies, and gotchas to help make sure we all get up to speed quickly. Just click the link to sign up. Hey, thanks for watching. Leave your questions and comments. Share if you're so inclined, and I'll chat with you soon.